Next product we're going to, as an accent to the limestone or the custom brick, taking the Tuscan glaze, that's the color prime, it's here somewhere. Tuscan glaze. Is it this one or this one? So just like the product we use for shading, what's really neat about this product is you can get a modeled appearance. Typically like to use a, a pan and a double pressure roller handle. Meaning instead of the typical paint roller handle, is it basically has an arm on both sides. And then you use a beveled core. You can get them at Sherwin-Williams, Home Depot, Lowe's. That way when you're putting the materials on, you're going to get an even amount of millage. Because if not, with these glazes, you're going to have heavy light, heavy light, and you can't get away from it. Okay. So for today's purposes, we're just going to use a brush. And as you saw, Al mixed it a little earlier. You always have to continually agitate or mix the glaze. And so the quickest way to do it is just working at least two people. Dip it, roll it. And then as it relates to manipulating it, you want to grab a couple of those dry rags too. Uh, you could use a sponge. You can use a terry cloth towel. But what I prefer to use Yeah, it's right down there on the end in that cardboard. I put it there. I like to just use a piece of plastic that's cut by two by two or three by three. And what you do is once you get started, initially you're just what you're trying to do is get the plastic wet with the material. Just wrinkle it up. So I just just a regular trash bag, piece of visqueen, and then just just wrinkle it up. And then as you go over the top and get it wet, what it'll do is it'll just pull the color back off. And the reason why you can do that is that you're going to get a variation of color and you can blend in over an entire wall. And it really looks phenomenal. Real simple. A lot of guys will take the terracloth cloth towel and try to do it you know, a little at a time. Well, it takes forever. But once you get started, and they just keep rolling, then it's just a piece of the plastic. And you can overlay and blend in. And you'll get the exact modeled appearance that you're looking for. Really, really easy to do. Just a piece of plastic. If not, you can use a sponge. But the big, the big problem that you have in doing this, if I don't do the exact same pattern, I'm not going to achieve the appearance that look. So a lot of times I'll carry a rag, but more importantly, the best tool is just a piece of plastic. Roll it on the wall surface. Once you get it wet, just keep overlaying, going multiple directions. Wrinkle it up any way that you want and pull it right back off. It's that simple. Okay? Any questions about the Tuscan glaze? It's over, it's over the final finish. So in other words, you could use it over limestone, you could use it over sand pebble. You know, primarily you're gonna see it be used over limestone, freestyle. So if you, can, if you think in terms of the freestyle where we do it's like a Spanish lace texture okay. or a slip trowel, well that really looks sharp. And so I really kinda like it with those two. That's my personal preference. You could do it with sand pebble fine, but the key is a double pressure roller handle with a beveled core so that as I start to roll then I'm actually getting rid of that roller mark so I'm not leaving a vertical streak. You want to have it on there just evenly, just like you said, well it's all over the place, the plastic will blend it right in for you and just go multiple directions. Okay? You can spray it. 
I think the, the key is, is that once you spray it, you got to be careful where you don't start see, seeing stuff roll down. But when they say when, you, when I do like to spray it, let's say if we have a light fixture, or if we have, you know how when you see on a home where you see water run down from the copper and you see that stain, okay? Little trick is taking a little bit of this water and just put something, just a fixture. Is that your water bottle there? Oh. Mind if I use it? And then virtually what you can do is just, say, just imitate a light fixture. And virtually what you can actually do is just create that stain and just do that a couple, three times. And then virtually what you'll have is that same streak that you'd see off of a copper roof. Really, really neat stuff. Really neat stuff to do, work with. The finish that that the gentleman back here described, where you put the sand pebble on, then put limestone or uh, freestyle over the top, then come back with this as an accent. Really, really neat, guys. And it doesn't take a lot of effort. The key is when you get into it, just use that plastic and blend it right in. Okay?